opposition striping it from distance. Well, it's the name of the game nowadays. The math is unavoidable. If you can't space the floor, you get left behind. Now here's Lowry and the starting group for the Celtics. Smart and Brown on a great defensive backcourt. Al Horford out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Williams in at the center position. Lowry against Smart. Outside, Brown. Out left to the wing. Five to shoot. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That one on Tucker. And the emergence of Jalen Brown's ability to take over at the offensive end, Grant. It's been a joy to watch. Oh, such a joy. I mean, his improvement as a ball handler may be the biggest reason. He can drive the ball either direction now, create the space he needs for his jumper, and he's no longer a turnover waiting to happen. Hero, he's checked in for Miami. Butler, the open look, and he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. I love what Jimmy Butler brings to your offense. The ability to score without dominating the ball. Hero against Smart. Stolen by Hero. Fast break Miami. Butler against Tatum. From deep. Butler can't get it to go. Hero against Smart. Pass to Tatum. Here's Williams. Adebayo grabs the board. I'll tell you what, I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. Such a wide open look. Butler's got seven points. Some shooters get tunnel vision, but Tyler keeping his eyes up and his options open delivers a great pass. Now here's Smart. Here's Brown. Over Butler. Adebayo grabs the board. Easy chance for mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. Hero on the wing. Shoots over Brown. Hero, no good. Pass to Tatum. Left side, Williams. Tatum with it. Got a piece of it. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Butler. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Harassing defensively, Tyler Hero is a competitor who doesn't let his motor go cold. Adebayo, and that's good. His first bucket of the game. And setting the tempo with an assertive move, like... Where was the defense on that play? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Who was the free teacher? You have to be impressed by Bam Adebayo's playmaking. B.A., he has great vision for a big man, and he helps this team as another initiator. Tatum can't hit. Not an ideal start for them. Still looking for their first field goal after four misses. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. And Coach Steve Kerr of the Warriors, he said Adebayo reminds him of Draymond Green. You know the reason why, B.A., they both are elite ball handlers at the four position. They both anchored the defense on their team. Bam, Adebayo's definitely on his way. Now here's Adebayo. <laughs> Business as usual for Adebayo, just pulling his way around the paint. Adebayo! First free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. And you know, Grant Bam Adebayo expanding his offensive game. He's got a legitimate shot. He's a legitimate threat from mid-range now. I mean, Adebayo, he takes a lot of shots from mid-range. He does a good amount of damage with his shot. You figure it's just a matter of time before those become three-point attempts. Six on the shot clock. Smart with the ball. And it's Robinson picking him up. Three-pointer. And it's Smart missing. And it's Miami's ball. 
They're on a 13 to 4 run. Adebayo finds Robinson. Hero outside. Robinson on the wing. Here's Adebayo. From six feet out, he nails it. Adebayo's got six points. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Pass to Brown. And that one, good. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. Inside. And stolen by Williams. And here we go. The Celtics on the run. They get it back. And he's in the books. Now one for two. Have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Now here's Butler. He's got seven. Down low. Here's Adebayo. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Tatum against Butler. Tatum inside. And Williams gets the bucket. The assist by Tatum. Williams has gotten his second bucket. Look at how Tatum surveys the whole floor. That's how he spots the wide open man. Robinson passes to Hero. Here's Robinson, defended by Brown. Back to Robinson. Just five on the clock. The Heat need to get one up in a hurry. Here's Butler. And again, the Heat missing. Boston trailing. Here's Brown. Out of bio with the rejection. It's been a rough quarter for him. Can't seem to find any kind of rhythm. Outside Robinson. Adebayo against Williams. Adebayo, no good. Once he gets the ball there, you expect him to capitalize. That was a missed opportunity. Smart passes to Horford. Hero against Smart. Here's Tatum. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. One of the cases where height fails to tell you the whole story. So it's Miami now. It's a three-point game. Butler against Tatum. Outside Tucker. Kicks it to Hero. Down to five on the shot clock. The stop to Drew. Called in by Brown. Empty possession, and you don't want to miss these easy looks. And so he draws the... And in a game this close, they're going to challenge the call. The coach does not agree with it, and he wants them to take another look at the monitor. And even with the coach's challenge in place, we've seen so many of these personal foul calls still disputed even after the video review. There's no doubt there's going to be a gray area in a lot of these calls. But at least we have the option to take a second look so the officials can be sure they get it right. So they see clear evidence of a bad call and they're going to overturn it. Probably the right decision. And give credit to the officials for recognizing the mistake and correcting it. Nobody likes to say they got it wrong, but they fixed it in a hurry. He gets it off. Oh, no good on the left.